Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be going over 10 ways to make passive income online. So the first thing I wanted to say is that I'm not going to be going super duper in depth on all of these. This is more of a overview video, just giving you some ideas of what you could get started with to make a passive income online. So let's get started. Number one, affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is where you promote uh, another product or you get a commission off of a company if you get a sale for them. So uh, one example today, Shopify, that's actually one that I use. So it's an e-commerce platform. If I get someone to sign up, I get a per small percent of revenue based off of what subscription plan they choose. Uh, Amazon, I'm sure you see this one a lot all over YouTube, all over the internet, uh, people linking to Amazon products and they receive a small commission for making uh, a sale off of Amazon so say for example, someone has a book that they're like, oh, I love this book so much in this video, or it's a tech product, maybe it's a tech review. Oh, I love this uh, laptop so much, you should get this from Amazon, here you go, here's the link, or a pair of headphones or whatever. If you go to buy the product, the person who linked to you gets a small cut of the money from the order value. So whatever the shopping cart totaled to, um, that is a small percent that you get. Bluehost is uh, another affiliate marketing uh, program. I actually also do Bluehost. So I do Shopify and Bluehost because they kind of work together more or less. You know, you get your domain from Bluehost for a website and you link it up with Shopify uh, for your store, for your e-commerce store. So those are two that I, you know, those kind of work in conjunction in a way. You know, Bluehost is how you actually get your domain for your website. Uh, you know, I get a small percent if someone were to sign up with Bluehost, Robinhood as well. I get a very small cut if someone were to sign up with Robinhood, which Robinhood is a stock trading app. Uh, I do a lot of different stock videos as well on this channel if you guys are interested into investing, a lot of those kind of videos. But those are just uh, some examples of affiliate marketing programs that either I do or I see a lot of other people doing on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, that is the first one. Moving into number two. Creating your own products. So, for example, ebook. An ebook, you know, someone creates an ebook, they can uh, make it for sale and they get a money coming in whenever they make a sale on their ebook. Another example, physical products or courses. So, in the middle is a uh, hat actually from H3H2 Productions. They recently launched their store. So, that is a, you know, their own physical product, their own merchandise that they are selling. And once they make that, once they come up with the idea for it, they have the supply, you know, you have the supply chain all figured out for a physical product, not a whole ton of work on the front end. It's mostly just uh, passive income coming in from whenever people go to your description or from a YouTube channel or uh, however you're promoting your product. Maybe it's through an Instagram account. Maybe you have an Instagram following and you're like, hey, this is my new hat. You guys should cop it. If you have a lot of followers on Instagram, maybe within the fitness niche, a lot of people are going to probably buy that product because they believe in you. They like what you do. So those are three different things. Courses, you know, if you're going to teach someone. Now, obviously, out of those three, physical products probably have the most upkeep, uh, but the other two are very passive. Once you create a course, once you create an ebook, you pretty much just have to promote the product. I mean, it's very similar too with physical products. Once you have it created, you just promote it and... Um, that's a very passive income right, right there because a lot of times you set up that promotion system, you really don't have to touch it much. You know, you link it into your bio or in your descriptions. People go check it out and they buy your product. And so once you do all the front end work of actually getting the product done, you just throw it up for sale and, uh, you know, people will buy your product because they trust, believe in you or want to learn something, whether, you know, it's from your ebook or from a course, you know, they, they believe in what you do. They want to support you and, get to know more about what you talk about, you know, little dig a little deeper. So that's your own type of product that you could be selling ebooks, physical products or courses. Uh, those are just some examples. So moving into number three, licensing intellectual property. So the most popular one is music right here. I have an example of Michael Jackson. So although he is, has passed away, I think it was about 10 years ago now, it's quite a while ago, but whoever uh, whether it's the record, it's the record label definitely gets a cut, and whoever is associated with him and his family gets a percent of the money from his music plays because 
of now tune core is just one of the different publishing methods that people use uh michael jackson is through a record label so he doesn't obviously his family isn't on tune core but if you were a independent musician and you wanted to create a revenue source from your music you can create a tune core account and generate revenue from the plays that you get off of apple music spotify uh, Amazon, I mean, all the different music streaming software uh, or uh, applications out there that people use to play music, whether it's Pandora or anything, you can create revenue because you're licensing your intellectual property and uploading it on there, and it will get your music out onto those platforms for people to be able to listen to. And when they play your music, play your song, uh, say, I think I saw Apple Music is about 0. .0068, so it's less than a penny per play, but that adds up over time if you get a lot of plays, you have a, quite a following for your music, you know, that adds up to quite a passive income, because once you make that song, you don't have to touch it at all, that song is out there for people to find, whether it's through organic, or, or you know, they just discover your music, a friend was like, hey, check out this song, that is plays for you, passive income, so, Moving into the other intellectual property, books. So Andy Weir wrote the book The Martian before it became a movie, and you could bet that he got a large check for when that movie got into production because it's all his intellectual property. It's his entire story from his book is created into a movie. Now, I'm not saying all you guys are going to be going out there making books and they're going to get turned into movies. I know that's quite far-fetched uh, as an example for you guys, but that is an example of an intellectual property where someone created some sort of idea and then a company was like, hey, we like that idea. We're going to, you know, we're going to take this book, turn into a movie. Or maybe they like one of your songs that you have out there and they want to use it in their TV show. Well, you're going to get some money as well coming your way because they have to pay for the usage of your music because you own the copyright to your music through TuneCore can help you get that all set up as well for your music. And you know, that's a way you could create a passive income is when uh, different outlets want to use your music for things. You know, if a, if a song is in a movie, you get a check from that too, uh, because they can't just legally throw your song into a movie without permission. Now, I'm not saying all of you guys are going to be getting songs into TV shows, and movies, but that is something to keep in mind for licensing intellectual property, creating a passive income, because once those songs are out there, once those books are out there, you don't really have to do much work. They're out there gaining fans through organic uh, listeners. If you have a big following promoting them, you're getting listeners. And that those listeners can be turned into a passive income. So moving into number four, stock media. There's lots of people that want to see cute dogs, right? You know, people need these kind of cute dog photos for their websites, for their uh, court, you know, whether it's a product they're trying to promote, they need copyright free material and most people will pay for that whether they pay a subscription service so you could upload and provide stock photos stock audio or stock video to companies or businesses that are looking for this there's a lot of different websites i think there's like uh shutterstock or like iStock. so there's a lot of different stock media websites that you can upload your content on there and when then when people need something, generally they pay like a subscription fee. And whenever your uh, photo gets used a lot, you get a percent of money from that subscription base that people are paying for to be able to use the service and get access to all that stock media. So you could be a provider and provide that stock media to people on those websites. So I'm not exactly sure how to go about doing this because I've never done it myself, but that is a way that you can generate passive income. You just go Google it, look up stock media. You can upload and make a passive income from people using the media on their businesses. So moving into number five, a blog or a website. So WordPress, as an example here, you can start a blog or website around a niche. This is a very, very popular thing. You know, you create uh, different articles on your website. You can also even double dip the chip and have uh, affiliate marketing, affiliate products. So say, for example, you did a product review on a laptop, right? Well, then you could link that to Amazon and get uh, affiliate marketing to your blog or website. Get that little bit of that uh, Amazon affiliate money as well from your website. You could also do uh, Google AdSense, make a little bit of money off of ads being displayed on your website. So there's a lot of different ways you can monetize an audience from your website 
uh, and you know, generate email list, all those kind of things. Uh, now, I've never actually created a blog, but a good place to find uh, blog examples that I found is flippa.com, F-L-I-P-P-A.com. You can look up different examples to kind of get an idea of how to start a blog or website on a certain niche. And trust me, those <laughs> blogs and websites make a lot of money. You could be generating thousands of dollars a month from a really solid, strong blog or website that you create over the course of a couple of years. I mean, Flippa.com has plenty of examples for people that are trying to sell their websites that are generating a lot of money per month. You know, people that just don't want to run them anymore. You could look on there for some examples. It kind of gets your gears grinding on what kind of blog or website you could start and seeing what actually works in the marketplace on the internet. So moving into number six, video content on YouTube. So YouTube content, I believe, yeah, this is a uh, beauty blogger here. You know, you create content around things people are searching for on the internet. People will flock to it as long as it is, 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 is something people want to watch. Just like this video right here. You know, you want to learn how to generate a passive income. That's video content on YouTube. And when people watch the ads, Google sends a percent of that money to you through Google AdSense. And that is just one of the ways that you could monetize a YouTube channel. There's a lot of different ways you can generate a passive income from YouTube. I'm not going to go into all the specifics in this video, but YouTube content, video content on YouTube generates passive income. I mean, you can make anywhere from like hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars. I mean, the the opportunities are endless with a, a YouTube channel. Just sim- similar similar to a, a blog, like I said before, lots of opportunities for uh, cr- building an audience and then uh, generating income from your audience that uh, is interested in the type of stuff that you put out. So moving into number seven, sponsored content. This kind of goes right along with the YouTube. Here we have H3H3 as an example. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with that channel, but they do comedy type videos on YouTube. And so right here, he is promoting a dollarshaveclub.com slash h3h3. So they are getting a percent of money whenever someone goes and buys a Dollar Shave Club from that link. Now, sponsored content works differently depending on the video. Sometimes companies will pay um, a set amount of money for you to put an ad in, in your own video at the end or the beginning or wherever it is. Maybe it's the entire video. You upload an entirely sponsored uh, video, but a lot of times it's generally at the end. And this type of thing is is usually like an affiliate commission. I imagine that h 3 h 3 makes more money if more people buy off of the Dollar Shave Club link that is provided than if less people do. They make more money if more people buy it. So that's that's I assume that's how this sponsored content works, but there's a lot of different types of sponsored content. Like I said, sometimes uh, companies will pay outright for a sponsored video on a channel. It's a lot of different opportunities for sponsored content uh, within YouTube and not just YouTube as well, but uh, a lot of other uh, blogs as well. You can do may, maybe find some sponsored stuff, but I, you know, sponsored content on YouTube is definitely one of the most popular because. Lots of people love watching videos, just like this one right here. Now, Dollar Shave Club is not sponsoring this video, uh, but that is just an example uh, to kind of give you something to see, like, oh, this is a sponsored content on this channel. This is what it looks like. You know, someone promoting a product, and they're getting paid for that. So, moving into number eight, JV Sales. Now, I know this is probably a little bit confusing. This one's definitely the least passive one, honestly, on here, but I figured I'd throw it into the list Uh, essentially JV joint venture is where you earn roughly generally 50% of the income from selling someone else's product. So JV zoo, ClickBank, those are two different websites that you can find a bunch of other products to sell. So, you know, however you think it, things are going, selling is actually kind of difficult. So a lot of people will go and put their products on here for other people to help sell their products. So they, you know, 50% 50% is is great if they're getting a lot more sales. 50, 50% of the money is not a bad deal. And it's good for promoters because people that have have an audience maybe that uh, want to capitalize on some revenue, maybe they have an email list or something like that, then they go ahead and promote this product and generate an income off of a product that they know that they've seen has already sold has results you know it's a product that works because product creation actually takes quite a bit of work within itself so you could just sell another product that already exists and works for uh 50 percent 
of that money from the sales. So it definitely works pretty well as less of a passive income, but it could be passive if it is just in the description of videos, if you're promoting another product and receiving you know 50% of that money. It is similar to affiliate uh, marketing, but it is a little bit more active because you need to find a product that is either sometimes it's products that are launching soon and so you do like a product launch type video uh, to your audience there's lots of different things you could do with jv sales uh, definitely look more into that on other youtube videos obviously but uh, that is just another example of a type of passive income because you can promote this product to your audience and create some income over the next you know couple months when people actually you know buy into this product or whatnot. So moving into number nine, stock market investing. I talk a lot about that on this channel. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with stocks, definitely recommend watching some other videos on this channel going over uh, how to get invested with stocks and what it is. Uh, because it is a great way to generate a passive income in the long term. So stock market trading app that I personally use, Robinhood, great th reason why I use it, it's free. You don't have to pay for uh, commissions on trades for when you're buying and selling stocks. It is free. That is the best part. So in today's quick example of what stock market investing is, say you want to buy a piece of McDonald's. So you buy one share of McDonald's and today's example price is $160 a share. So you buy a $160 share one year from now, you can expect that McDonald's shares prices are going to go up because McDonald's is making more money and they're doing well. You, you know, as long as the stock market doesn't all of a sudden just tank a little bit, but McDonald's is a very strong company. It's been around for a long time. So you can expect, a you know, 11% annual return is roughly what you, I guess you could expect from the stock market over the long term. And you could generate a passive income because companies like McDonald's, uh, Johnson Johnson, Coca-Cola, those big companies pay dividends, which is a small percent of the money that you have invested in the company will get paid back to you in cash. And you could either reinvest that or actually just take it out. You know, if you had a uh, million dollars and you had that in the stock market invested into, uh, let's just use McDonald's, I guess, as an example, and you get, uh, you know, a three percent or a percent of that back you know that's that's probably a hundred thousand if you get if you have a million dollars you get ten percent of that back a year that's a hundred thousand dollars a year that you're making so sorry i can't math super well but you know ten percent of a million dollars a hundred thousand dollars a year that's quite the passive income so you can see where i'm getting with this with stock market investing if you have if you save a little bit of money and i'm, I'm and there's you could get started with only a hundred dollars you don't have to have a million dollars or hundreds of thousand dollars to get started in stock market investing you know you st like you see in the picture here um like you see in the picture here you're starting that little bit and uh, it adds up over time. So if you want to get started with this, I have a lot of beginner videos on this channel going over how to get started with stock market investing. Stock market investing, definitely recommend it. Uh, you don't need a lot to get started. $100 will do. $1,000, you, you don't need a lot. is definitely a great way to start creating a passive income that is going to increase over time because uh, you can make a lot of money over time with uh, compound interest. It's a great thing. So moving into number 10, sell existing products. I also have a lot of these type of videos on this channel going over how to sell uh, products from AliExpress into your Shopify store, getting started with Shopify if you want to do drop shipping or selling your own products uh, as well. You can also do that on Shopify, but a lot of the videos I have on this channel are specifically about drop shipping, which is selling existing products. So you don't have to worry about creating your own product. You're just finding other products that are available online. You buy them at a discount. You sell them for a higher price on your own store, marketing it through, uh, various platforms such as uh, Facebook, Instagram, all those kind of places that you can sell things to people. It's a wonderful thing. So uh, selling existing products is another way you could generate a passive income online because once you put in all that work to get your marketing working, uh, it usually takes a little bit of upkeep per day uh, for the month or, or per week or whatever, but it's really not a lot of consistent work once you put in that initial work to get it going. And that's something you're definitely going to see common amongst all of these different passive income things that I went over today is that they, they take a bit to get started, but once they get started, once that once that snowball starts rolling, uh, like you see with the stock market investing right there, that's the same for all these type of passive income things. Once the snowball gets rolling, it gets rolling. You start making a lot more money. You know, you generate that little bit of money per month. It's nice. It's passive income. 
definitely recommend it. So if you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to know more about stock market investing, e-commerce, entrepreneurship, all that kind of stuff to increase your income, uh, I have a lot of different money type videos on this channel, hence the name of the channel. Uh, anyway, guys, if you found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel 100%. You need to subscribe. And why, why are you not subscribed? Like, just do it. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment down below. I'm sure someone will get to that in the comment section below. If someone else doesn't, I probably will. Uh, anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.